Okay, so I wanted to get back to more vintage postcards. I'm not even a big Christmas person, actually, but these are just really pretty. So I'm going to copy this uh, prompt and scroll down to the bottom. That would be lovely to add birds to it and see what happens. Okay, so I think this is backslash. Imagine, oops, imagine just showed up and then the prompt. Um, so, vintage hold to light postcard, detailed ornate lush thick green Christmas tree with uh, beautiful detailed birds. Um, we're going to do it with cats. With beautiful, cute cats. And do it with um, dogs. With beautiful and elegant dogs. Oh, beautiful elegant dogs. Um, there's a way to, if you have a list of things that you like to do like this, there's a way to automate it so it just does it automatically, your whole list of things you like to do. Okay, so let's see how this turned out with the birds. This one's kind of, the bird's pretty, but the, it's kind of misshapen. This has two pretty birds there, and those look, this one's misshapen as well, so it looks like just this one. It's got a kind of a weird top, but that might be okay. I'm going to right click, copy image link, go to the image splitter up here. Majority image splitter, scroll down, paste. Down, browse for a file. I have to click it twice today. And here we're going to upscale it. Go back to Mid Journey and see what they have for us that's ready. are really pretty, the dogs. Let's see. This is kind of weird with the dogs popping out of the tree. That's fun too. That's weird. This is nice. Um, the tree is cut off. Um, let's see here. I can figure this out. B, do B4, a variation of B4. Um, so that's going to give us the prompt for B4. But that's exactly the way I wrote it. So let's just um, redo it, the prompt. And we'll put in here elegant dogs at bottom of tree. And then we'll put here um, Green Christmas entire complete tree. 
and see if we can get something like this, but with the whole tree in it instead of the tree being cut off. Okay, let's scroll and see what else we, oops. Oh, I forgot to put imagine, so I think it, is it, a, I don't know if it fixed it for me or not here. Okay. I forgot to type in imagine. Okay, see, so this is the cats. Yeah, they, mid journey for the cat inside, the cats inside the tree which isn't exactly what we're looking for. Cute images, but not what we're looking for. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they still put the dogs in the middle of the tree. That's so funny. Well, See if you guys uh, figure something out. You can let me know in the comments uh, what's going on with that. <laughs> Let's uh, go back up here and we'll go ahead and just do a variation of four and see what happens. Or did I do that already? I'm not sure. I'm just going to go ahead and click B4 again. And submit. We'll see what happens with that one. Okay. So while it's doing that, let's go back to DGB and look at some of our um, other vintage postcards that we had there. Go to My Files, and you can hit Page Down to get to the bottom. So this was the Easter bunny. Yeah, this is cute. And this is what a vintage Easter bunny would look like. His eyes are a little bit deformed there, I think. I'm not sure if that's okay or not. Um, we might want to go back to Mid Journey and redo this one. I'm not going to save that one because his eyes end up looking kind of funky. And that's very common for Mid Journey to mix up the anatomy and make things not symmetrical. So that's something we could go back actually. Let's go do that now. Let's go back to Mid Journey and um, tell that we want a symmetrical bunny. Okay, these are pretty, these dogs. Um, but this one dog is super, I don't know, that, that one dog looks so much bigger than the others. It's kind of distorted. I don't think these are going to work. But this big dog, too big. <laughs> Let's see. It's a cute idea. And actually, I guess it doesn't matter that you don't get the whole Christmas tree. Um, but we need to figure out a bit, way to get better looking dogs than that. Okay. We're going back up to the Easter Bunny. This one. So we're going to redo this whole prompt. And we're going to add in, oops, we're going to add in that vintage Easter poster card, that was it, okay, okay cancel an easier way to get your, your prompt is just to uh, act like you're going to do a variation of it and then not submit it. It's the quickest way to get your, your prompt. 
Okay, backslash, imagine, and paste that with symmetrical Easter Bunny. others like that. Okay, let's look at our other pictures here. For me, it's hard to see some of the malformations until it's upscaled. I think this one looks really good. And you see there's um, this up here, there's this thing at the heart of the other picture that happens often and you just have to crop that out. So. So that's going to save it. Let me uh, crop that out right now so I don't forget to that out. Okay. I've been asking my computer to do too many things and it's slowing down a bit or it's heating up. So let's see. Yeah, I think my computer is not happy right now. We'll have to do that later. And let me see if there's anything else I want to show you before we wrap up because I think my computer is needs a little break. When I'm recording these things, it really takes a little bit of a toll on the computer and slows it down a lot. These are cute. Um, they're not really vintage. Like this doesn't, I don't think this top right one's vintage because the bunny is too cute. Um, I don't know if this one's too weird, even for vintage. I don't know about this top left one either. And this top, this bottom right one is definitely not any good because it's got this writing in it. Anytime AI puts writing in something, it's bad news, not good. It always messes up the writing and it's weird. Okay. Well, I think that's um, good for our portion of... Um, more of the vintage postcards and maybe we'll do another video. Um, you can put in the comments what you would like if you'd like me to go back over any of this and if you have some great ideas and some great results please make sure you share. Talk soon!